All right, hello, this is my audience. Uh, this is Wendy and this is Anna. Uh, racism is still present in today's time. Recently, there has been uh, injustice shown to brown and black communities uh, and minorities. It is shown on every level of society from cops to the president. Uh, racism is shown daily. It even exists in famous people's lives. Uh, no one is safe. Even in the midst of a pandemic, people still find the energy to express racism. Um, I believe racism stems from hate towards other people. Uh, they feel they are superior to them and uh, they act evil and sh uh, show evil intentions. Uh, my first case is that of Breonna Taylor who got gunned down in her apartment um, from a failed police investigation and uh, they shot blindly at the house and there could have been children present uh, for all they know um, so there's always two sides to the story of course and while they can deny um, that there was fault uh, they go to these places that house minorities as if the minorities lives are expendable um, so the families of the victim uh, have no fault, the victim has no fault, the officers for their lack of training have all the fault. Uh, it is our fault as well if we act, if we let this pass over. And uh, currently there is no direct charge to uh, Breonna Taylor's death and only one of the three officers have been fired. Uh, this is a slap to society and in a way showing that it's okay uh, to show this action and have minor consequences. I believe that um, what, that's why cops are thinking they could get away with anything. It is uh, more dangerous for cops to be racist because uh, they have more power and they have the force to use it whenever they think it's necessary. Uh, this can vary apparently and the public has to bear this and have fear and live in fear. Um, the most recent encounter with Jacob Blake, a father of six children, and he got uh, gunned down in Wisconsin in front of his children. Um, the striking thing about this is that the victim had his back completely turned to the officers having no visible weapon in hand because it was on video like all these other cases. Uh, grabbed by the shirt and shot seven times at point blank range. Uh, the number of shots is very important um, because how does someone shoot at someone seven times in the back and not do it in the intention to kill? If uh, the intention was to subdue the victim, officers have other ways to subdue them. Uh, they could even use pepper sprays, just something that won't kill them. Um, but to me, it seems like shot number seven was to make sure, just which is really, really bad. In um, sports, there's racism as well. Um, soccer star Neymar Jr. Uh, recently got into altercation because he was called a racial slur. Um, in France, uh, some supporters uh, have been throwing bananas at the field, uh, showing that players of color were monkeys and if there was any doubt these uh, same supporters would also make monkey noises as well uh, it was very sick um, to watch because I love soccer and could not believe that even the most purest sport can have uh, people that act racist finally the presidency has done its fair share in making ICE detention centers for immigrants from below the border and sending children along with no family contact deported from this country uh, when it belonged to the people from the South to begin with. Uh, these innocent children um, are sent packing and they offer no assistance to them because they are uh, kicking them out supposedly because of COVID. However, they test the kids before they send them to their other countries as part of the other country's policy. And, uh, and then they'll come negative and they still send them away. So they just don't care. 
um, so that I feel that people won't focus on this because you know what's going on um, and then they rather talk about the campaigning for the presidency anyways uh, so we as people have to stand up for our rights to hopefully soon racism not be a topic of a current issue speech over and over again. Thank you.